Just a little bit of updated footage on this Buick LeSabre. I replaced both these tail lights. And I didn't take any footage of me doing that because it's literally so simple. I mean, it's just uh, some little plastic tabs. You unscrew, pop them out, screw the plastic tabs back in. So there was really nothing to it. I mean, if anybody needs to see a video of me doing that, uh, if y'all can't, you know, if y'all got one to do and you need some help, uh, just let me know. Put a comment in the comment section and I'll do a video on it. But it's really very simple. This, on the other hand, I thought this radiator was going to be very simple. And uh, I'll go ahead and tell you, if you got to do a radiator on one of these, it's uh it's fun <laughs> it's not impossible of course it's just uh it's not as easy as i thought it was going to be um this it's been quite a pain there's uh you got to take your radiator fan assembly off first there's two motor mounts that comes across here one there and one here uh, so there's two motor mounts you got to take off you got to take your battery out you have to take this uh air filter box out I haven't took it out yet you got to take it out and uh, the biggest thing is your radiator let's see you see that clip right there your condenser which is right there looks like another radiator that's a, basically a radiator for your air conditioner it clips in right there on the top and it does it on both sides and that one you can't see because I can't get it out far enough because of that air box. So I got to take that air box off first. But anyway, that's what it looks like. And then way down on the very bottom, I don't know if I can get this thing to focus down there. Um, anyway, there's another clip down there that does the same thing. So basically, you got to pull both of them up and tap down on the radiator on both sides to get the condenser cool higher than the radiator to get them to unclip. These are your transmission cooler lines. They're actually pretty simple. Um, there's just a little clip that goes around the outside of this. You just pop it out, and then you pull these right out. There's two of them, an upper and a lower. And then, of course, obviously, you got to take your upper and lower radiator hoses out. Um, the fan was actually pretty hard to take out. Well, I said it wasn't very hard. It just was harder than I expected. Because this loop right here is clipped on to the fan all the way around it. And you got to take all them little clips off. And then the clip into the fan itself is this one. Which is a stupid design. You know, Chevrolet again. I digress. But... You have to, instead of pushing in like you normally would do, especially on something really hard to get to, where you push in and pull out, <laughs> instead of that, and keep in mind, now these are down below the fan and way down here, so I don't even know how you're supposed to do it, but uh, I just pulled my fan out first and then took these off after I took all them clips off and got this wiring harness loose. Because what you got to do with this one is you got to pull up and out. Now they'll pop right out once you do that, but there's no room down there. I, I mean, it's there's no room down there to do that. So the best thing to do is go ahead and pull your fan up and then pop them two clips off. There's one on each fan. There's two fans. I'll show it to you right here. Here's the fan assembly. Get over here where you can see it. Here's the fan assembly. Okay. That's what's in there. And then down on the bottom of the fan here is the two connections, one on each side. So you gotta pop those out. Um, and of course there's a bracket that sits on top of the fan here that you have to take off. And it's really just one 10, 10, 10 millimeter bolt. And you just take that out and then pop the bracket off. Um, so, I mean, like I said, it's, it's, it's not a hard job. It's just not a simple job. It's not as quick and easy as I thought it was going to be. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take this off. I'm going to pop the radiator loose from the condenser and get it out so I can get the new one in.